Welcome to Live Doff, your online Doff Yomi Shear. Shalom Aleichem and welcome back to today's Daf Hayemi, Meseches Bechiras Daf Lamed Beis. We are holding 14 lines off the top of the Amad Gufa. Let's have a quick look at what we learned yesterday. The Torah differentiates between the Bechir, which technically can be sold, so once you deliver it to the Kayin, he has it. Uh, it's nowadays where it's anyways not going to be brought as a carb, and he can sell it. It's his private possession. As opposed to Masar Behema, which has special status, it cannot even be sold. Gufa, but Bechir, who Eimer, but Bechir, the Pasuk says, Loi Tifte, no pidyon, but Venimkar can be sold, as opposed to Bemasar Nema, by Masar Risha, Masar Behema, sorry, it says, Loi Yigoyal. Loi Yigoyal means absolutely no selling. Veida Nimkar, Loi Chai, it cannot be sold, not alive, Loi Shachat, not after Shechita, Loi Tam, whether it's a Tam, Loi, nor whether it's a Balmum. And the question is, how do we know this? You see, lo yigoyal just means no redemption, no transferring of kedusha, right? But perhaps it could be sold as is. Munan imili. So here come three approaches to providing a source to the uh, no selling clause applied to Masar Behema. Amar Rav Chidna Amar Rav Bechen Amar likewise was said by Rav Dimi in the name of Amar Rav Yechna. Nemar, the Pasuk said, Lo Yigoyal. Over here, by, you know, Bemasr. In Nemar, we find a similar expression, Lo Yigoyal, where, Becharom, by the Cherem, donation, where you donate to the, uh, the Kayin, to support him for his holy work. So, there's a special format called Charomim, where the Pasuk says, Lo Yigoyal. But next to Lo Yigoyal, it says, Lo Yimachar. It shouldn't be sold. So, we make that correlation, just like over there. Loyigoyal is paired up with Loyimacher, no selling, likewise over here by Master Behema. Loyigoyal is paired up with no selling. Malhal and just like over there by Charom and Mechira Imoy, the no selling clause is connected to it. Afkan here is all Mechira Imoy, the no selling clause is connected to the Loyigoyal. It's connected to Loyigoyal. Okay, so we derive it, we import it from Charomim, where explicitly it says no selling, here as well. Loyigoyal comes along with Loyimacher. Amalei, Rav Nachman, Bar Yitzchak Larafun, Braid Rav I have a question. Although it is Xer Shava, we know that you can challenge Xer Shava if you find some disparity between the uh, two parts of the equation, unless it's a Mufna. It's based on extra words. Mufna, right? It has to be extra, in which case, uh, once it's extra, so it's as though, Rashi explains somewhere, it's as though that Allah was actually explicitly stated here. So this extra word, this extra expression, which is not needed for anything else except for making that match up and importing that halacha, is considered as though that halacha is stated over here outright. In which case, no challenging. It's said in the Torah, right? So, mafni, we must say that this Gzeru Shava between Master Bahim and Khairam is also Gzeru Shava mafni, mafni, mufna, same thing. Why? Otherwise, deal with mafni, because otherwise, you can challenge the uh, matchup. Ikel Mifra, you can ask, are you attempting to import the no-selling clause from Cherem? Cherem stands on higher ground. It has a Chumrah over Masar Behema. You can't compare. Malach Aram Mishkein Chalam, because Cherem could be applied all around, on everything. Rashi explains, Tubshat and Ram Shat, that it could even be applied to a curb and a person that owns a Shlamim. Technically, he has to bring it to the Mizbech, but he has some element of interest in it. has potential profit from it, called Teves no. How is that? So we had the other day, let's say, uh, the grandfather comes and offers him a couple of pennies to uh, for the, uh, the carbon to his grandson who's a kain. His daughter's son is a kain. Grandfather's not a kain. So he can accept that little payout. So he has some financial interest and in that amount of interest, that amount of financial stake in the carbon is considered his and that he can donate, and that he's obligated to give to the Kayin. But oh, furthermore, says Rashi, Khairam, uh, you can make your whole flock, your whole stock, Khairam, as opposed to Master Bahima, is strictly the tenth one. It's a more limited scope. So how can you compare? Khairam, you can't sell, but Master Bahima, maybe you could. La'ai, yes, that's correct. Afnuye Mafni, we're basing it on a available extra Xerashav, extra words. Why? 
Lo yoimar v'lo yigoyel b'charomim. Because by charomim, it need not say v'lo yigoyel. Why? V'yigmar m'masra. You can really learn cherem from masra in this regard. That what? Ma masra kodesh v'enigal, just like masra behimah. It's a holy item and it cannot be redeemed. The same would apply to cherem. Without saying it outright, af charomim kodeshim v'enim negalim. Charomim also kodeshim, and therefore v'enim negalim, they cannot be redeemed. And therefore, the term Balayigal, the cause of Rachmana, which the Torah specifies by Charamim, seems to be extra. Lamali. Oh, Shmamin Alafnuyi. Apparently, it's to give us that extra expression on which we base this new Xer Shava and allows us to import the no selling clause from Charamim over to Master Behem. Well, says the Gemara Ikal Mifrach. You're basing it on the notion that lo yigoyel by cherem is extra because that halacha can be imported from master behem to cherem. Hmm, it's not so simple. Kill mifra, we can challenge that. Match up. Since we can find a chumrah, a stringency, an element of elevation by master behem, are not found by cherem. So again, it's an unfair equation. Ma'ala master shkain kodesh lafan of la'achra master behem, which applies itself to the tenth animal. Really, really, you can spill over. To the one before and the one after. A person mistakenly calls the ninth one number 10, and likewise the eleventh one. As discussed uh, later on this Masechta, the Kedusha spills over and affects the ones near it. So, as a unique element that we don't find elsewhere. So, you can't compare Masa Behema to Cherem. Ella, you're right. <laughs> The extra words are like this. The term lo yigoyel, by cherem, need not be said. Not because we're going to import it from Master Bahim, no. But because we're going to learn it from Bechor. Ma Bechor Kodesh ve Nikal, just like a Bechor, is Kodesh that cannot be redeemed. Loi Tifta, it says. Av Charomim, likewise, cherem, let's assume it's Kedoshin. Ve Nikal, likewise, a Kodesh and they can't be not, not be redeemed. In which case, the phrase lo yigoyel, which is stated by cherem, is unnecessary. The Kosh Rachman, normally, what's it needed for? Oh, laf nuye, to give us that extra expression, to allow us to now make a connection between cherem and master behema. Undeterred, unchallenged, it's based on extra words, which allows us to import the no selling clause from cherem over to master behema. Oh, equal mifra, we can still challenge your notion, which is based on the ability to learn. Cherem from Bechor regarding no redemption, which allows us to use the extra words for the next Gzeir Shava to Masa Behema, right? You can learn we can challenge that first Gzeir Shava. Right? So the way it's working is basically in two steps. Cherem will import Lo Yigoyel from Bechor, in which case Lo Yigoyel by Cherem is extra. Which allows us to further connect Cherem to Master Behema in an unchallenged way with Exer Shava Mufna to further import the Loi Machar from Cherem over to Master Behema. Well, like Lamifra, we can challenge the first link between Cherem and Bechor, where we attempt to import from Bechor to Cherem Loi Goyal. Mala Bechor is unique. It's Kaddish from birth, naturally Kaddish, as opposed to Cherem, which was generated later. So you can't compare. You can import Allah from Bukhar over to Khair, maybe Bukhar is unique. Ella, rather you're right. Lo Yoimar Lo Yigoyel Bamaiser. Let's try the next option. We're looking for extra words, right? So by Master Behim itself, it need not say Lo Yigoyel, don't redeem. Because that can be learned from Bukhar, Vigmar, Havar Avaram Bukhar. Through Xero Shava. Here it says, Havarta, Kopeta Rechem, and by Yah. Master Rehim, it says, Kalashi Yavar, Tachas Hashavat, Havar, a similar phrase, which allows us to link Master Rehim to Bechor and learn as follows. Ma Bechor Kodesh Ven Nigal. Bechor, which is Kodesh, cannot be redeemed. The Kedush is as is, permanent. Af Master Kodesh Ven Nigal, likewise, but Master Rehim, it's no redemption. So once we know that, why? Le'igoyel, why does it have to say Le'igoyel by Master Rehim? The Kos Rehman of Master Lamali, what's it for Laf Nuyet? So that it's extra. And now we can move on to the next link. Next Zer Shava. Connect Master Behemoth to Cherem and import the no selling clause from Cherem over to Master Behemoth. 
הוא עושה את זה גם ברקעתי במעש שאינם מגלים אף נהי. זה לא יגלו במעש שאינם מגלים אף נהי. Why was it extra? Because we're going to import Lo Yigoyal from Bukhar. You can challenge that. Dikil Mifrak Kedip Archinon. You can ask the same question over here as we did before. Bukhar is unique. It's born Kaddish as opposed to Masa Behema. Right? So we said we can import from Bukhar to Masa Behema. Vavar Tekro Yisiru. The answer is like this. This too is Xerah Shavah Mufna, which doesn't allow challenging. Because the word Vavarta by Bukhar is extra. Rashi says, I could have said, Kol Pete Recham Lashem without Havarta. Havarta is an extra word to enable us. Xerah Shavah Mufna, a unique, unchallengeable Xerah Shavah between Bukhar and Master Bahima, which allows us to import. Well, you girl, no redemption from Bukhar to Master Bahima. Okay, so now what does it say? Lo yigol v'masu behem. It's unneeded. Extra words. Tell us the next Xeru Shavu, the second link between Masu behem and Chirim. To import the Lo Yimachar from Chirim over to Masu behem. So bottom line, we found the source. That one may not sell Masu behem. Well, ask the Gemara. Bechor nami neilaf gu'ulu gu'ulu mecharamim. Why are you stopping there? Why are we only importing the Lo Yimachar from Cherub over to Masar Behem to disallow selling? Do the same with Bukhar. It says Lo Yigoyal by Cherub and likewise by uh, Bukhar. Rashi says, although technically we don't find the term Lo Yigoyal by Bukhar, but it says Lo Yitifte. That's all the same thing. But he, he says Rashi. It means the same thing. No redemption, no transferring of Kedusha. So once we have this link between Bukhar and Cherub, import the Allah of Lo Yimachar to Bukhar as well. Don't sell it. Well, so the Gemara, the Maser Mafni. Let's remember the link between Maser Behema and Cherem was based on Xerah Shavah Mufna, which extra with extra words, which preempted any challenges. But the Bechor Le Mafni, this new uh, Xerah Shavah between Bechor and Cherem is not Mufna. There are no extra words here, and therefore they could be challenged. Like we said before, the Cherem has a broader scope, can be chal on everything, right? Says the Gemara, hold it. We're working with this, uh, like this triangle here, right? Cherem is on top, where it says, And we have on the right side, Master Behema. And left side, we have Bukhar, so to speak, right? Now, Master Behema and Bukhar connect in the sense that we have the extra word, Vavarta, by Bukhar, which allows us a free and clear link to Master Behema, to import Lo Yigoyal, in which case Lo Yigoyal by Master Behema is extra, which allows us the next link up to Cherem, to import Lo Yimachar from Cherem over to Master Behema. Who says to structure your triangle this way? Perhaps let's shift it around and achieve different results. And have the Lo Yimachar clause applied to Bukhar rather than Master Behema. Says the Gemara, my chazes, who's to say? Why do you prefer to say the light of pada the bechor that the term of the pada by bechor lugufei is needed for its own sake? In other words, to teach that you can't redeem a bechor. And then we export that to Masa behema, etc., etc. With the master lafnui and the term lo yigoyel by master is extra to allow us that second clear and free link over to cherem. Perhaps I can propose a bit of a different structure to achieve a bit different results. Perhaps I can say like this. The Maaser, the phrase Lo Yigoyal by Maaser Behema is for its own sake. It's needed. Don't redeem Maaser Behema, period. And now we'll take that lesson and export it to Bukhar. Let him be the source to export it to Bukhar. Through the Xerah Shavah Avar Avar. And the term Lord Tifta by Bukhar is extra now, unneeded. Which allows him to link up to Cherem to and to import 
little selling clause from Chirim over to himself, over to Bukhar, in which case you'll have drastically different results than earlier. The Bukhar cannot be sold, but Mas Behemah perhaps could. Ve'em with the Mas Lugafei, the term Lo Yigol by Master is for its own sake. You can't redeem the Master. The Bukhar Lafnui and the term Lo Tifta by Bukhar is extra now because he imported that lesson from Master Behemah, which allows him to connect up to Chirim. To import the no selling clause over to himself, says the Gemara. You know why we prefer connecting Chiram to Master Behema? Don and Geula Migula be derived. Lo Yigoel by Master Behema from Lo Yigoel by Haram, similar phrase, similar expression, as opposed to Ve'idon rather than connecting Padi Migula. Bukhar where it says like Tifta, which is a different expression, although it means the same, but different expression. Migula from Chiram where it says Geula. Well, says the Gemara, who cares about the particular semantics? As long as the meaning is the same. That allows us to make Ixera Shavu. We find throughout the Torah, my nafkimin, what difference does it make? It's all the same meaning. Hatana the Rishmoli teaches us regarding the house that had the Nega. One place it says, Veshava Koin, Koin returned to the house. Next it says, Uva Koin, Koin arrives at the house. We connect it to because it's all the same thing. Coming, arriving is the same thing. Zui, Shiva, Zui, Bia. So we see. Now we're not particular about semantics. As long as the meaning is the same, we can link them up. Well, I mean, like the dummy late. That's when you you don't have a better, more similar matchup. But when you have a better option, a closer matchup, such as connecting Maser to Cherem, where in both it says like a girl, we prefer connecting the more similar expressions. Okay, next question. But Leilev Bechor Avar Avar Maser. So once we establish that Master Rehema cannot be sold because he imported the halacha from Cherem, let's move that halacha over to Bukhar as well. Through a Gzair between Master and Bukhar, which we already established before as a solid Gzair Shavu. Havar Avara. Do Master Nami Gamar Gula Gula Micharamim. After Master already learned the no sale clause from Cherem through Gula Gula. So let's take that halacha from Cherem to Master Rehema over to Bukhar. It says, if you look at the Pasuk by Cherem, it says, Kol Cherem, Kodesh, Kodesh, Hu, Hashem, Hu is a limiting term. Hu, only this one cannot be sold, the Valei Bukhar, as opposed to Bukhar, which could be. But Master cannot. Who says, Ve'ema, perhaps, who is Valei Master? Who is coming to exclude Master? No, Master, Gula, Kamaisa. It's unlikely because Master, Ve'ema, has a similar phrase, like Yigoyal, similar to Cherem, so we assume the Torah is excluding not Master Behema, rather Bukhar. Okay, so according to this first approach, how do we know that Master Behema is not to be sold? He imports that Allah from Cherem, where it says, Lo Yigoyal, and Lo Yimach. How can we uh, link up Master Behema to Cherem, despite their you know, discrepancies? Because it's Zer Shavah Mufna, it's an available open Zer Shavah, because the term Lo Yigoyal by Master Behema is extra. Why is it extra? Because the actual Allah of Lo Yigoyal can be imported from Bukhar through another Gzera Shava Mufna Avarta Avarta, leaving the words extra to allow us a clear and open connection to Cherem, no selling. Rava Amar, next approach is Rava. I'll give you a source for no selling Master Rehim. Lo Yigoyal de Charamim Take a look at the Pasuk by Cherem. It says, Lo Yimachar Lo Yigoyal. The term Lo Yigoyal is unneeded. Because this no hecha, it's obvious that you can't redeem it. Where is the item that you donated to the coin? Where is it? eBay buy them? Is it still in the donor's possession? Hegdash, it's hegdash. It's not a finished process until it gets to the coin. Of course, you can't do anything with it. eBay coin, it's sitting by the coin. Was it delivered to the coin? Chulanin, why can't he do it? It's his private possession. The signing of a brayse of a charame. Calls man shemim, but it's buy them. The cherem is still in the hands of the donor. Harein hegdash called the raves like hegdash completely. The shenamar called cherem. But once it's given to the Kayin, it changes status drastically. It totally is. The Rosh on the bottom line, the, the end says, Lo Yeh means, It's his private possession. Of course he can do, he can sell, do whatever he wants. So then why? Lo Yeh Goyal, we turn to the next time. Lo Yeh So the phrase Lo Yeh Goyal, the Kosovo Rahman of Shatari states, Regarding Haram Lamali, what's the point? What's the meaning? And we know that when we have an extra Pasuk someplace, unneeded, we apply it to where it's needed. Imeinia inyan l'charam, it's not needed locally for Haram. It's not teaching anything. Tineu inyan l'masra. 
apply it to Masar Bahima that it cannot be sold. Well, Eima Tanev in Lam Bakhar, you're looking for an address, I have another address for you. Maybe a Bakhar? Masar Gul Kamaisa, once again, Masar and Kherim have similarity in terms of the wording of the passing in both. It says La Yigayl, which Bakhar doesn't have, in which case we prefer the connection to Masar Bahima. Now, Rashi has a big kash on the Gemara, lots of kashes. He says, what do you mean? Uh, you can't redeem just because the donor still has it. Well, any uh, item that was given to Hegdash, uh, even uh, he can redeem it. What's the problem? Lots of kashas. So he changes one word in the Gemara. He says that Rava was not dwelling on the rather Yimacher, which is stated by Haram. And that's not needed. The Isra to sell. Well, look, how could you sell it? If it's still in the hands of the owner, he has no right to sell it. He has to hand it over to the, right? And um, once the coin got it, conversely, once the coin gets it, of course he can sell it. Hence, Le'imachar is extra, which is meant to be applied to a Master Behemoth. Okay, it's a pretty clear-cut Limud, no selling Master Behemoth. Here comes a third approach, Ravashi Yomar. Instead of importing from here and from there, we have it right here locally. Ravashi Yomar Le'igol the Master. When it says Le'igol the Master, although it sounds like Le'igol, like redemption, no, here it means Le'imachar, it means don't sell it. So we have an outright Pasuk, not to sell. How do I know? Well, you go in this context means no settling. How do I know this is so? Take a look at the broader context of the Pasuk. And speaking about Master Bahim, it says, So if one swaps it, makes it Shmura, it works. And the Pasuk continues, Now, at what point are we talking? While the animal is still alive. Only then can you make a Shmura. Right? So the context here is while alive. A Masa is a Shmura. When? Can he generate a Tmura? Mechaim, while alive. And the Pasa continues, and seems to say the same with Gula, same with redemption. No redemption, only when alive, implying that after Shechit he can redeem. It's unlikely. If you can't redeem now, it doesn't have the power to do it now. Of course not after it's Shechit, when it's downgraded. A Masa in a Nigel Mechaim? Is the Pasa implying redemption? Transfer of Kedusha onto an exchange, you know, onto money, will not work while alive? Hola Acha Shechit a Nigel, but after Shechit you could? Oh, a more technical question at this point. You can't possibly do gula after shkita because there's a halacha. You have to stand them up and assess them, which you can't do after shkita. Oh, so since it's not feasible, apparently that's not what the pasuk has in mind. Lo yigoyel in this case does not mean redemption, which is in any case not feasible. Elosh mamina apparently. Lo yigoyel means lo yimacher, don't sell them. And that the pasuk says, well, that only applies while alive. But after Shkita, you can sell it, like we learned yesterday, but the rice you couldn't, Rabban, you can't, so it all works. Well, Hanichel Amanda Omar, your premise that it can't be redemption because redemption cannot work after Shkita, Hanichel Amanda Omar, that's only according to the opinion that Kachim is Beach, that Karbana is, were also included in this obligation, into this process of standing up and assessment. So it's not feasible, so we can't be talking about it. El Mandu Amar, according to the opinion that holds, only Kachim and Chabayis need to be assessed in this fashion, but not Karbonois. So then your premise sort of dissolves. Michael Meimar, he was talking about a uh, Master Behemoth, which is Kachim and So yeah, perhaps after Shechita you can do Gula, even without Hamad Abarach. So perhaps the Pasuk is talking about Gula. And not mechira. Oh, and non hochi I meant like this. I was basing on a logic on svara. How could the pasuk be speaking about geula redemption and implying that you can't redeem while alive, but you could after shechita? Unlikely. Mika the mechaim le mifrek. Can you have a situation where you can't redeem it during its lifetime when it's strong and powerful? Olach shechita mifrek and after shechita you can do pidyai. So I well, why not? What's the big deal? Alam alay, why not? Maybe, maybe it works. Mechaim dalim ktushasei, le mifrek, yeah. While alive, the kedusha is strong and powerful, that cannot be uh, transferred and redeemed. Balach hashkita da'achal le ktushasei, but after shkita, the kedusha was downgraded, perhaps mifrek could be redeemed. So it can work. No, says the Gemara, just the opposite. Logic goes the other way. If alay called the chenu, if anything, logic it tastes just the opposite. When you make a pidyan, the kedusha has to sort of 
be transported, has to hop over to the other money, to the other item, given in exchange. That takes power. That takes ability. Since during its lifetime, the Olam limit where you would think the Kedusha is strong and powerful and is able to spread over and catch on to its redemption. Still, you can't do it, certainly after Shkita, where you would assume it's downgraded. The Kedusha is weaker, the Olam limit where we assume it's not as strong and perhaps cannot catch on to the pity of Then redemption does work. Unlikely. It's counter logic. So you must say Laigo doesn't literally mean redemption. Rather, it means don't sell. Don't sell it. Okay. But that only applies during its lifetime. If Tashkita you could. Hence we have a source not to sell Masurbe. Ask the Gemara. Okay, so if we're talking about selling, just say it. Why does it pass it? Use different words. Why doesn't the Torah refer directly to not selling instead of saying Laigoil, which allows us to you know, interpret it both ways. Exactly such. The Torah wants to imply in this reference to no selling also something about not redeeming. Had the Torah explicitly said, don't sell. Have I mean, I would think, is the Buni is Okay, you can't sell it. Because that's degrading. Treating it like merchandise. The Ka'avid Uvda Nechayel is treating it like matters of, like mundane matter, like a mundane item. Avali Fruki Mifrak, but perhaps you could redeem it. That's a more honorable process. The Aili Dom of the Hedish, because its value will be sent, you know, to the treasury. You're just transferring the Kedusha onto money and sending in the money. Perhaps that's allowed. That is why the Torah chose to express itself with the term to also, also include, to also allude to no redemption. The law is the Vudim is David, not meant to be sold, because primarily that's what the Pasuk is referring to as we explain. But also, V'lo Yifruki Mifrik, on the side, the Torah is also telling you no redemption either. So according to Rav Ashi, goyal by Master Behema is primarily referring to no selling. Why? Because it can't be a reference to no redemption. Because the Pasuk is implying that's limited to while alive, which means you can redeem it afterwards, unlikely. Rather, the primary intent of the expression is no selling. And that is limited to it during its lifetime, after Misa you could uh, uh, sell it. And also, by the way, by his choice of words, the Torah is referring to Laigal as well in a literal sense. There's no ghoul or no redemption allowed anytime, anytime, alive or, or not, with this uh, Master Bain. Okay, pretty uh, straightforward tomorrow. The source for no selling Master Bain is either by way of importing it from Cherem, where it says Laimacha and Laigal, so we import Laimacha to Master Bain. Is it because the term Laimacha by Cherem is extra? We apply it to Masabim, or the actual word Loyigoyal by Masabim really is a primary reference to no selling. Okay, all the best to you, and that's Lacharabah.